Goat House is back with NFL Power Rankings heading into week two of the season, ranking every single NFL team from 32 to 1 every single Tuesday morning based on how teams look, how they play, winning and losing matters, not end of the year predictions. There'll be some movement in these rankings. Let's take a look. Coming in at 32, shouldn't be a surprise, the Carolina Panthers, who actually had their own tier, unfortunately, in our week one grades video. Check that out if you haven't seen it. The Giants are right next to them at 31. Rough outing on both sides of the ball. Rough outing for Daniel Jones and what was supposed to be a winnable game against the Vikings. Number 30 is going to be the Broncos. Definitely played a little bit better than those teams, but man, things went their way in that game. They got to win that one when those things happen and they just could not close it out. So a disappointing outing for Denver. I'd imagine since they have a rookie quarterback in Bo Nix, I would imagine they get better as the year goes on, but we will see. That was a very winnable game based on how things were going 29 the Washington Commanders yeah I think the teams below them are, are were worse uh, they had less room to move down so they only go down one spot but the Commanders just ahead of them uh, yeah they made the Bucks look like one of the better teams in football so that wasn't ideal Daniels had some flashes another team that could get better as the year goes on 28 the Patriots had an impressive and surprising outing and an upset victory against the Bengals they looked good on defense Ramondre Stevenson looked good. Joey Brissett did his thing, you know, did enough to win that game. It was it week one things, or could they keep this surprise rolling? We will see. They're up four spots. Don't want to overreact too much to that, but in these power rankings, what you do at, in, in, the, in the week definitely matters, so they go up four spots. 27, the Raiders go down one. Disappointing loss because the Chargers really didn't have much going for them besides some sacks and causing some fumbles. Raiders kind of shooting themselves in the foot. You know, that looked like they were outplaying the Chargers for a portion of that game. So it's given that their opponent wasn't that good at all, I wasn't impressed and they lost. It's it's not ideal, but you know, still a decent defense. They can move the ball, it's gotta take care of the ball. They're down one spot 27. 26, the Titans outplayed the Bears for most of their game. The defense looked great. They had one of the better defenses out there, but they choked. The offense was bad. The special teams was bad. Will Levis was bad. I was confused with the play calling. Pollard was having a pretty good game. They were abandoning that while having the lead. So the defense was great. Everything else, pretty bad. They choked a lead in what was a, should have been a winnable game, especially how it was going originally. They're down four spots. 25 is going to be the Cardinals. Overall, I mean, they lost... But I was impressed with the Cardinals. I was very much impressed with Murray. I thought he had a hell of a, hell of a game. They couldn't finish. They couldn't execute. The defense went downhill in that game. Tough matchup in Buffalo. But impressed. Just no room for movement here. They're at 25. But I like their upside for the rest of the year. Let's see if they can climb. I can see them doing that. But in these power rankings, you actually have to do it, you know, for, for, for the, you, you to go up, really. So that's teams decide their fate here. Saints had a ridiculously good outing. They did play the Panthers. You know, if they did that to a much better team, they would have soared up even more. But going up four spots and looking pretty damn impressive on uh, both sides of the ball. So they come in at 24. I mean, if they beat the Cowboys this week, they're going to go up even more in four spots. I'll tell you that. So that's uh, that'll be a good one there. Uh, the Colts are going to stay put at 23. Uh, they gave up a ton of production. They couldn't execute you know, on defense on third and fourth down. They gave up an insane amount of production, but they stuck in that game. There was some flashes, some bright, some bright spots. Uh, you know, So I could see upside. I could feel the upside with the Colts, not just with Anthony Richardson. Uh, and they should get healthier as well, hopefully. Um, obviously, Abuka won't come back, but uh, that's a team that can climb as well. Kind of in the same boat as the Cardinals for this week. Vikings go up two spots to 22. Very impressive outing. Uh, complete game on both sides of the ball. Like the way Darnold played, like the way they ran it with Aaron Jones, like the way they loved the way the defense played. Um, you know, impressive. Don't want to overreact too much. If they beat a team, they're kind of in the same boat as the Saints. If they beat a little bit better of a team, they would have soared up the rankings, but still, they look good. They won. They're going to move up. That's how it goes. 21, the Cleveland Browns go down a whopping six spots. So that is a pretty big drop off off one week, but there's some teams that looked a lot better while they looked really, really bad. So teams just kind of just, it's a mixture of them looking bad, moves them down a little bit, and then teams below them like, all right, I got to move those. Those teams have to move up. So that kind of forces them down even more. So how the power rankings work here. Um, but a very disappointing outing. They got to get healthier in terms of the tackles, offensive tackles, and then they pro possibly could play better. Uh, they got a 50-50 game against the Jacksonville Jaguars this week, which should be a good one that they got to win it. Both those teams got to go in there and got to win that game. Um, so it'll be uh, very interesting to see. Number 20, the Chargers are going to stay put. You know, not much room for movement. Other teams looking better than them. They look good on defense. Uh, they kind of relied on a couple splash plays on offense. 
Um, you know, not the most exciting game there versus the Raiders. They stayed put at number 20, but they do come away with the win, so that was good. 19, the Falcons go down a pretty good amount. They go down six spots. I believe this team will get better. Everything's kind of new. They got to kind of click in, you know, lock in, figure it out, get the chemistry. But this was a sloppy, sloppy game. The Steelers are down to their backup quarterback, and there's, the Falcons are at home. They're supposed to be better, and the offense was brutal. So they're going to go down six spots with teams needing to move ahead of them there. 18, the Bears are going to stay put. Got outplayed for a portion of this game. The offense was one of the worst this week, so it's hard to be super impressed, but the defense is really good, as we kind of expected. Uh, special teams helped them win that game as well. Uh, clutch comeback win. They're going to stay put at 18, and the Seahawks will stay put at 17. What I did like is that everything went wrong for Seattle, and they still found a way to you know, kind of easily win the game in the second half. So that's kind of the positive. If they're not so sloppy, then they're a pretty good team. I was calling them the sneaky te- one of the sneakiest teams in football. So I, I believe that still. You just can't be that sloppy. They'll play the Patriots this week, which they seem like a trap team to play. They're going to play teams close. Uh, they just can't be sloppy. You know, they're going to play a good defense. So, uh, But they're going to stay put at 17. The Jags end up staying put at 16. They actually outplayed the, Dol- the Dolphins for most of this game. If it wasn't for an ETN fumble, uh, near the goal line, I think they win this game, and they probably win it big. Uh, but it happened. They choked. They they couldn't execute. That fumble happened. Uh, Doug Peterson, I questioned his coaching the second half. I loved it in the first half. Uh, you know, so they, they you know they would have won. They would have moved up big. Uh, they probably they probably be top ten if they beat the Dolphins if they held on. Uh, overall, a little more impressed with them than some of the other teams because again they did outplay the, Dol- the Dolphins for a portion of this game. I felt like keeping them put at 16 made sense 15 the Steelers are going to go up whopping six spots yeah they're underwhelming on offense uh but they you know backup quarterback they got the job done uh defense looked elite TJ Watt was absurd his presence was felt for sure by Kirk Cousins and company they're going to go up a good amount there six spots uh you know this week and uh let's see they're going to have some close games here uh you know see if they can uh, they got the Broncos. I, that it's the Steelers are better than the Broncos, but man, it's it's one of those games that's going to stay close. So it'll be a big one to keep the keep the early season train rolling. There, fourteen. The Bengals go down a whopping seven spots. I don't know if anyone really can complain about that because they lost to the New England Patriots, who were sitting at thirty-two going into the week. And it's yeah, part of me is like long term. Like some people do predictions with their power rankings. If I did it that way, which I don't agree with because they're weekly updated power rankings. If I did it that way, the Bengals wouldn't drop this much because they always start bad they have a lot of talent um but i i do i did worry about the run defense going into the season i'm worrying about it a little bit more now even and that that kind of can keep you from winning championship football so i do worry about that i do worry about guys like t higgins and chase like wanting it more wanting to be there wanting to play wanting to go full go even without the contract i worry about these things for the bengals um so it's just a bad out. I mean, sloppy. A fumbled punt. They, I don't know what Hudson was doing. Tanner Hudson on the on the half yard line. So those things don't happen. Maybe they come back and win, but still very sloppy. Bad outing. Lost to one of the worst teams in football. They're down a whopping seven spots to fourteen. Uh, somewhat of a rare occurrence here. A team that lost moved up. That can't happen if a team looks bad in a loss or even looks decent. Like the Rams looked pretty good in their loss against the Lions. They were kind of outmatched in Detroit, and they were so beat up, and they had an opportunity to win that game. Who knows what would have happened if they got the ball first at, at, or the ball at all in overtime. Um, so they got some help from the Bengals. I just looked at those two teams, and I'm like, God, the Rams got to be ahead of the Bengals. So they a um, little bit of a rare – it'll happen here and there. Uh, there were some teams like the, maybe the Cardinals were pretty close to moving up for, for losing. You see the Jags stayed put. Um, just how it goes, how you look, plays a huge part. So they're at 13. Uh, number 12 is going to be the Buccaneers, so the biggest riser of the week, up seven spots, number 12. Yeah, they played the Commanders, you know, so if they did it against a better team, they would maybe move up even more. But the Commanders could have been a trap game in week one, tough game plan, everything's different, everything's new, and they look like one of the best teams in football. Baker looked like the best quarterback in football. Uh, so they are up seven spots, well-deserving. They looked really good. They started the year off strong last year, and then they kind of took a dive, and they kind of figured it back out going into playoffs, went to playoff game. So um, is that a trend? We're, we're waiting to see. We're only in week one, but love to, love what I saw from Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're at 12. 11's going to be the Jets. They're going to go on three spots. Yeah, extremely disappointing on Monday Night Football uh, because the Niners were a little beat up, and the Jets the Jets defense was disappointing. Mainly the run defense was awful. I'm starting to wonder about that. They did play the Niners, though, but no McCaffrey. They made Jordan Mason look like McCaffrey. Um, you know, So those are issues. 
the Niners look like the best team in football in week one, so they just kind of ran into that. And there were still some flashes from the Jets. Maybe just bad matchup away. Um, so I'm not going to take it out too much on them, but it was disappointing. I, I thought it was a little sloppy of a game from – the stats may not show it, but I really thought it was a sloppy game from Brees Hall and Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson put together one amazing drive after that. Some you know bad routes, bad decisions, and – um, you know, that one, the one play only only had one foot in. It should have been routine, two feet in. Brees Hall um, not hitting the hole and had a fumble early in this game. Um, so I think those stars will figure it out. Maybe just a sloppy week one, perhaps. They're down three spots to 11. Uh, I like the rest of their schedule uh, for the first half of the year. Uh, they're on pace still, so I think they can really get going. We will see a uh, winnable game against the Titans. I didn't mention the Bucks. They're playing the Lions that, this week. It's pretty good. The Bucks got a little beat up, though. 10, the Packers. He has a tough one, uh, moving them down six. It, 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 are they, they played well. Like They were out playing the Eagles for a portion. They had a chance to win the game. The offense was very, very explosive. The defense made some plays early, but they struggled then at the end. The corners really struggled. I'm going to blame the field a little bit on that, uh, but my favorite thing about the offense is they have so many different packages. They spread you out, and they, you know, and then they have they'll throw in multiple tight ends and just pound the football. I love that, and it's going to be if they're if they're healthy, they're going to get better and better. There's one of those teams that are going to get better and better as the year goes on. I think they'll be if they're healthy, be really good in the postseason, deep in the postseason. Uh, but uh, you know, they lost the, the Eagles. The big thing is the Eagles started that game disaster at a disastrous level. Like things were not going their way. The Packers got to close this game out. They got to finish it. Uh, they got to find a way to win this one. Love was a little sloppy. Love went down as well. So if I had to predict without love, like maybe they'll be moving down in the future power rankings, but I don't do assumptions here. But yeah, love going down doesn't help them. Uh, but a big reason they they moved down six spots, which them by themselves, I don't know if they're deserving of six spot drop, uh, is just the other teams around them. Like they absolutely had to move ahead of them. So that kind of forced them. They were in a tough spot in the power ranking this week. So that kind of forced them to move down a good amount of spots here because, again, you'll see the teams ahead of them, like you, they, have, they have to squeeze ahead of them. They have to. Uh, and this one was close. Even though the Dolphins won, I really thought about the Dolphins and Packers because I wasn't overly impressed with the Dolphins. They got outplayed by the Jags. Uh, I loved how clutch they were. The Holland punch out was huge. They came back and won that game. They were very good down the stretch. And you could look at it a different way. You could say, well, they were moving the ball early. Right when that game started, you know, there's a few drives where they got to midfield or past midfield. I'm like, all right, Dolphins are going to get rolling. And they got stopped. So if they finish those drives, then maybe they're the one that would have had the big lead at first. Uh, but they do play a good team in week one, and the Jags are better than people think. They, they found a way to be explosive in the end and win. Uh, so they are up two spots to number nine. They had a little bit of luck on their side, though, so maybe play a little bit better. Thursday night football home against the Buffalo Bills. That's going to be huge. Eight versus nine. The Bills go up one spot. Offense was elite, especially with the comeback. Defense, I worry about a little bit. Bit. can't dig themselves a hole like that but Cardinals played pretty well and for them to come back and win that game when things weren't going right pretty impressive they are uh, number eight on the week two power rankings number seven I mean the Cowboys I mean the Cowboys were underdogs went to Cleveland played a tough defense that plays insane at home and they did their part but mainly defensively they really did their part look like an elite defense out there they dominated this game so beating a pretty good team when you're underdog and dominating them that that's a that's a That'll help you in my power rankings here. That'll definitely do it. Um, you know, you got, got something good on the resume there. So five spots, two number seven. Uh, number six, the Ravens are going to stay put. A uh, little sloppy, but they played the, the best team in their, who was number one in the power rankings last week uh, very well. They were very close, like this close uh, away from maybe winning because they were going for two. Uh, but I, I didn't see any room to any reason for them to drop. I, I mean, I thought about the Cowboys and the Bills ahead of them, but we're going to keep the Ravens put. Uh, at, at, at six five the Eagles go up five spots I mean you, they beat my number four team and that was a battle I mean the Packers got a really good offense so anything could happen in Brazil it was tough to play there and they found a way to win offense is explosive and, you know, defense wasn't great but it kind of clutched up when it needed to I suppose stopping the the Packers to field goals rather than touchdowns early actually was clutch uh, so the Eagles, you know, just getting a big one on the resume there, beating a really good team and, and looking pretty explosive. Uh, Hurts got to take care of the ball a little bit better. Perfect world. Uh, but they'll go up five spots to number five. They'll play the Falcons on Monday Night Football, which could be an interesting one, but it'll be in Philly going, going back for a homecoming there. Number four, the Texans go up one spot. Super explosive. Uh, clutch. 
I mean, they got athletes. They got they got ball players. They got star talent on both sides of the ball. Offense was great. I'd imagine the defense, you know, will get better. Maybe a little more uh, discipline with not allowing those crazy plays. Uh, but they move up one spot to number four. Uh, the Lions, I was, you know, a little underwhelmed with the Lions. Not in overtime. In overtime, like the best team in football. That, that kind of got me going. That got me all jacked up how, how physical, how tough they were in overtime. That's kind of what I expected the whole game, though. Like, run the football like that. Golf was a little off. The Rams were dropping like flies for the Rams to almost have a shot. Like, what would happen if they started with the ball? I, you know, I didn't love that for the Lions, but I don't see how I could drop them down. They played a good team, and they beat them, and they, they were the better team in that game. So, Lions remain at number three, rightfully so. Uh, I The Niners belong at one but how because how, how they played, but how could you move the Chiefs down? You cannot. They played the Ravens of all teams uh, on Thursday, opening game, tough to do. They win that game. It was a close one, but they showed bright spots on both sides of the ball. You just cannot move the Chiefs down, but uh, you know, I did my recent, my most recent video was I had tears with grades, and it's basically how every single NFL team played this week, and the Niners, to me, played the best. They played the best out of anybody, even the Saints. Uh, the Saints, Bucks, Vikings maybe were pretty close, but the Niners looked the most dominant, the looked most in season. They were so good on both sides of the ball without key players. They look like the best team. Um, so it's really, there's two teams deserving of one. Is there any other team out there deserving of one? I'd say no. Uh, there's teams deserving of the Lions, deserving of three. The Texans are deserving of four, maybe, maybe three. You can argue that. And there's a little bit of a drop off after the Texans, tiny bit. Um, even though the Eagles got a big win against a good team. But. It's Chiefs versus Niners, who was in the Super Bowl. Not really much of a surprise. That just happened. We're in week two, but for the top. But there you have my rankings. In my opinion, the only rankings that matter because what teams do actually matters. They decide their fate, and it'll be more and more evident as the year goes on here. And we are here every Tuesday morning with this video. Check out our recent videos kind of covering week one and where teams are at or how they performed. Our next video, we got some shorts coming out, of course. Check those out. Next video. Our week two picks with the boys. I cannot wait. We'll have much, much more content along the way. But that'll do it for this one. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Goodbye.